leaders with the Ohio Department of Health saying we could have passed our peak during this Omicron wave. And here the Miami Valley hospitals are also seeing encouraging signs. 10 News reporter Madeline Ashley live with us in the studio after talking with health leaders about that case decline. Madeline. Brooke, John, Ohio's COVID-19 case numbers have remained under 3,000 for the last three days. And while this all sounds promising, local health leaders continue to warn people not to let their guard down. On Monday, the Ohio Department of Health reported nearly 2,600 COVID-19 cases. Though more than 500 cases higher than Sunday, cases remain the lowest reported since early August. Well, this is essentially the pandemic curve or the epidemic curve that you see um, for this Omicron strain, it tended to go up over about four or five week period and then down sharply over four to five week period when you look at what happened in other countries and other states. Kettering Health Patient Safety Officer Dr. Jeffrey Weinstein says he and his team are also seeing case decreases. Well, at Kettering Health, we've certainly seen a significant decline in the number of hospitalizations. What we really saw first was that the state numbers of new cases began to go down. And then uh, we also saw that among our testing facilities that the percentage of positive tests was going down. In Montgomery County, public health leaders also noticing changes. Over the past two weeks in Montgomery County, we've seen about a 39% decrease in the case rate. However, in January, we've seen the most people hospitalized since the beginning of the pandemic. So really, it's a mixed bag right now. We do have the cases going down. However, we still have a very, very high number of people who are being hospitalized. And with Super Bowl Sunday on the horizon, public health leaders say lower case numbers shouldn't mean a free for all. Because if you're one of those people who gets hospitalized at the tail end of the pandemic, it's just as bad for you as if you got hospitalized at the beginning of the, the surge. So people really need to keep their guard up. Dr. Weinstein says that you should continue washing your hands frequently, wearing a mask and getting fully vaccinated, including boosters to remain the best way to keep seeing these decreases. Live in the studio, Madeline Ashley, 5 on 2.